I, I'm not going to name names, but there was a child at the bus stop this morning in shorts, not mine. But that's really not a smart thing to do, especially tomorrow. Come no. on. Yeah, tomorrow might be some schools that cancel. With it's going to uh, be that cold. It will be, uh, certainly. And I think we're going to have to wait until tonight for this to really uh, move in. But uh, already feeling the chill compared to what we were at this morning. Some parts of Lancaster County were in the 50s uh, early this morning. as That mild air rushed in, which is good news after the icing. But boy, doesn't this look ugly? Now, this is the airport, folks. Just, you know, ugly old snow. <laughs> Some clouds, a little, uh, you know, kind of cleaning up that ice mess from yesterday. Boy, you know, just when you thought you couldn't hate winter anymore, you will tonight. I guarantee it. At least we got some of that snow to melt a little bit. The problem is now the refreeze. So any water out there, it's going to flash freeze pretty quick because these temperatures are going to bottom out here. And in fact, already below freezing in Willow Hill, 28 degrees there. Chambersburg now at 31. Let's fast forward all the way over here to Ephrata, 37. A balmy 37, 35 in Lancaster. And so tonight, these numbers will fall to near zero, if not below zero. In Harrisburg, still above freezing, 34 for now. But here's the problem. The wind's picking up, and they will not relax until sometime tomorrow night. Winds out of the west-northwest at 23, gusting to 29. And the good news is we won't have any precipitation to worry about, other than maybe a snow squall over the mountains. It looks quiet and dry here over the next several days. There goes that monster storm that is really helping to be the precipice of this Arctic air that's moving in. We had some rainfall this morning with it, some freezing rain yesterday that caused some problems. And now the cold and the wind. Look at the numbers. One in Cincinnati, seven in Detroit. Now, I will say that they have some snowpack there aiding in the uh, cold weather. We lost a lot of our snowpack with the rain this morning, but nonetheless, this is what we're tapping into. Zero in Sault Ste. Marie, and uh, this is a big, look Look at this thing on the water vapor loop, folks. Look at how deep this cold air is sinking all the way into Atlanta, New Orleans. Uh, they're feeling the chill. This is one big dome of Arctic air. That was the water vapor loop. It's pretty dry with this, but Amarillo, Texas, 18, 19 in Little Rock, and then here's the core of it. 12 below in Bismarck, 15 below in St. Paul. Those are air temperatures, folks, not wind chills. These are actual air temperatures, and this core is going to move just, the actual core is going to move to the south, so it's not going to moderate all that much as we get our flow from the west. So that core is going to start to lift out of here, not until Wednesday morning. And then look at this by the weekend. Heat wave, baby, 50s by Saturday. That's going to feel nice. So we really stay pretty quiet. There could be a few flurries over the mountains, but the core of the wind comes this evening and overnight. Tomorrow morning looks chilly, but it does stay sunny throughout the day on Tuesday. These winds will be sustained between 15 and 25 miles an hour here as we move into tomorrow morning. And tomorrow afternoon, still the winds uh, kick up. Now here's something I want you to pay attention to. This is what it's going to feel like as we move into this evening. Some places across western Pennsylvania could be near 40 below zero. That's to the skin. Now these are just kind of numbers. They're fun to look at, but folks, this is dangerous if you have to wait out at it at any length of time. There's tomorrow morning. Kids waiting at the bus stop. 20 to 30 below. That's the feeling on the skin, so it's going to be pretty ugly. If you do have school tomorrow, bundle up, certainly. Temperatures falling here throughout the day. 12 for a high tomorrow, the coldest day we've had in years, and we don't warm back up until Wednesday. And even then, we don't get above freezing until Thursday. But look at Saturday. 50s. See, that's where my eye goes. Well, it's the weekend. We yeah. know that. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> no shorts tomorrow. No, that's no right. No shorts. Please. All right, next on ABC 27 News at Noon. In celebration of 250 years, a mid-state community is looking to help its children design a new focal point.